I'm just sitting here thinking this week was a complete disaster. It was awful. It was terrible. We choked so many times where we should have the win. We should have won the maps. Like, I don't even care if maybe maybe we don't deserve to be top three. But I knew, I knew in my heart at least we could have gone at least top four, top six maybe. You know, we deserve to be in the money. Uh, I explained in my video before leaving. I kind of talked about this is either going to be a hit or miss. You know, due to a lack of practice, due to not playing S&D at all with the squad, uh, it was really going to hurt us. It was most likely going to affect us. And it kind of did. You know, Respawn, I played very well. We all played very well together. And, you know, Respawn, it was pretty much, we should have guaranteed win. It was a guaranteed map. But unfortunately, we lost every CTF. Usually, most of them were in overtime. We would choke the many flags, you know, over dumb stuff. And it was just very bad. Like... That, that that's what happened and CTF was the, the the game type the respawn game type we practiced the least you know we practiced hardpoint and uplink a lot because we knew that we needed to improve in that we knew that we saw a lot of mistakes and you know we fixed it you know I was dropping 40 plus almost every hardpoint pretty much every hardpoint uh, uplink I was doing very well uh, proof using where everyone's doing their job you know everyone's doing what they needed to do and you know, it came down to CTF. CTF, we it just came down to working as a team and thinking before you do something in CTF. And unfortunately, we didn't do that. Uh, we did at times, but then we didn't. So ended up losing. I think we lost every single CTF except one. So out of five series, we lost. We only won one CTF where we should have won at least four of them. So it was very demoralizing. I don't know if you guys saw against SB. <sighs> we literally had that CTF in the bag, like. We had that CTF from the start. Uh, they managed to come up, came, they came back, you know, they were up 3-2. But about 30 seconds left, we counter, we made it 3-3, almost, almost made it 4-3. We almost won with about half a second left. Uh, I don't know what was going on with Proofy, but he couldn't, I didn't think he, like, he, he thought people were by him, so he didn't get the re right away. He didn't kill the guy right away. While in the other, another side of the map, three people were rushing straight to me to kill me so they could stop the flag. Which it made sense in my eyes. I thought they were gonna get the re as quick as possible. You know, they had it was, it was like a three. I told them all three when there was like about 15 seconds left because it was all dead. Flag guy was alone. I'm like all three of you rush, rush, rush the flag guy, get the re now. And it took them way too long. You know, I guess uh, I, I don't know who had the flag guy. Nezo like study told me that Nezo ran, ran back, uh, juke basically uh, study killed study off sprint and then basically just went to a small stalemate. And as soon as I was diving for the for the cap, you know, proof he was getting the re. I thought he had the re instantly, but I don't know what happened. I guess he took, you know, he had to take his time. He thought there was people around him, but he went for the re. And as soon as he got the re, I died. And it was a fortune of, of events, you know. Uh, we would have won right there, 3 1. And we would have just moved on. But to back it up on top of that, I mean, we lost overtime on top of that, but to back it up, first map. All right, Detroit hard point. Doug knows. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna point out. Doug's play, played bad that map. His first map. But you know, first map. I think I went like 43, 44, and like 20, 27 or something like that. I don't know. But I don't know if you guys watched that map either. Uh, I was literally going in hill, getting two pieces, three pieces. I was literally destroying SB by myself. You know, I was making plays. I was helping my team open the hill. And I guess what really affected us was the way Doug played. You know, he didn't play too well. And we lost by like 10 points, I think, 15 points. And if Doug's played a little bit better, we probably would have won the map. He knows we would have 3-0'd them easily because then we won the, the next two maps. But to be honest, it should have been a 3 0 Should have been 3-1, 3-2. You know, we just choked. But I'm not talking about that series. I'm just talk I'm done talking about the matches. You know, it's, just, it's obviously we choked. And what kind of affected us was the, due to like a practice of Doug being banned and all. You know, we couldn't practice S&D much, and we decided to play the CTF barely because we really needed to work on hardpoint and uplink. We really wanted to perfect that. And it kind of showed, you know, we played really well on uplink and hardpoint. We won almost every game. But, man, oh, man. And it's literally the worst feeling ever. When you know you deserve to at least be in the money or at least be top six, and it just doesn't happen. And in the end of the day, this is a team game. You know, we are, you're surrounded by three teammates. And you guys all have the same goal, but some, you know, you all have different mentalities. Some are more prepared than others. Some aren't. Some, some, 
it's just kind of like different, slightly different mentality when it comes to playing. And, you know, it just came down to us playing more as a team, uh, listening to each other. And, you know, I played really well this weekend. And it just kind of, it's, it really disappoints me, depresses me that I was really looking forward to at least, at least placing maybe top four, you know. Uh, e even if we don't win, because obviously with our amount of practice, we would have to really play out of our minds to win. But, you know, just to be at least top six, maybe top four would have been, I would have been at least slightly happy, you know, not walking away with anything. Uh, like I said in my previous video, also, in Black Ops 2, I didn't make any money. I placed, like, top 12. And, you know, it's the same thing this year, you know. It's, it's just, you know, you wait all year for this tournament. You practice, you put in the time, you know, you play really well. And unfortunately, you don't, you don't, you still don't make nothing. And it's just literally the worst thing ever. I literally, I thought about it all day, you know, just in my mind. I thought about it yesterday. Thought about it all weekend after we lost. You know, I couldn't sleep for like the first night because it just kept going through my mind. I mean, not not that way, but like I took a nap, and then Maria, me and Maria took a nap. She kept sleeping. I woke up an hour later, and I just kept thinking about it, and I I couldn't go back to sleep just because that that thoughts racing in my mind, and it's the worst feeling ever. And I really hope you know things change for me. I'm obviously gonna continue playing a lot, gonna continue, you know, just become better at what I can be. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm definitely I've improved a lot uh, throughout like the last month but I still want to become better I still want to see more improvement within myself I know I could be better in S&D I know I could I could be better in every game mode um, I want to be the 50 bomb king because right now I'm, I call myself the 40 bomb king but I want to be the 50 bomb king you know I want to just I want to become even better and hopefully things turn out better for me you know uh, I think I deserve to be on a a pretty good squad and to do really and just dominate with them you know I'm a really good player. I bring a lot to the table. Uh, I've been playing really good. So hopefully, you know, these things turn out better. All I want to say, guys, is stuff happen. In the end, it's a team game. You know, we, we win as a team. We lose as a team. I'm not going to call anyone out. You know, it's, it happens. I could have played better in some maps, too. Overall, I played really well on every map. There was about maybe one, two maps that I played like average. Could have played better. And the end of the day, you always go back and you think, we all think, you know, as players, we all think, wow, uh, we could have, if I just put a little bit more effort or play a little bit on this map, we could have won. And, you know, it's almost every player thinks about that. But, you know, it happens. So, whatever. Nothing I can do now. You know, no point of thinking about it anymore. It's gone. It's happened. Congratulations to the now, by the way. You know, for when he first, their day played amazing. Tatch Clayster were playing, oof, out of their mind. Replays looking good, too. Jacob looking good as well, and shout out to TR. They got second. Nobody saw that coming, and they're they're very good as well, dude. And some talented players on their squad, so really happy for them. But that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy, and I really appreciate the support lately. You guys were awesome this weekend, and I want to say hopefully things change for the better, and hopefully next year I go all the way. So thank you guys for watching. This has been your boy Apathy, and I'm going to say it again because I love you guys, and I'm out.